Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for February 14th. The scripture states that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Romans chapter 8 and verse 4. With untold love, our God has loved us and our love awakens toward him as we comprehend something of the length of and breadth, and depth, and height of this love that passeth knowledge. By the revelation of the attractive loveliness of Christ, by the knowledge of his love expressed to us while we were yet sinners, the stubborn heart is melted and subdued, and the sinner is transformed and becomes a child of heaven. God does not employ compulsory measures. Love is the agent which he uses to expel sin from the heart. By it, he changes pride into humility and enmity and unbelief into love and faith. The Jews had been wearily toiling to reach perfection by their own efforts, and they had failed. Christ had already told them that their righteousness could never enter the kingdom of heaven. Now he points out to them the character of the righteousness that all who enter heaven will possess. Throughout the Sermon on the Mount, he describes its fruits. And now in one sentence, he points out its source and its nature. Be perfect as God is perfect. The law is but a transcript of the character of God. Behold in your heavenly Father a perfect manifestation of the principles which are the foundation of his government. God is love. Like rays of light from the sun, love and light and joy flow out from him to all his creatures. It is his nature to give. His very life is the outflow of unselfish love. He tells us to be perfect as he is, in the same manner. We are to be centers of light and blessing to our little circle, even as he is to the universe. Let us pray. I love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my head, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in the darkest night. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived in the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. With my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. 
I give you everything. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for your continued love towards each and every one of us. Thank you for this new day. Thank you for allowing us to have your breath of life this morning. Life is so precious. I pray that each and, uh, each and every one of us will understand the great value in breathing, in having life. Oh, thank you. At this moment, Heavenly Father, I pray that you will forgive me and forgive us because we don't value the life that you give us the way that we ought to at times. And we at times don't see the value of other people's lives. Sometimes our anger and frustration gets in the way. Forgive us and cleanse us, dear Lord. Help us to look at everyone in our families, everyone we come in contact with. Help us to see them as your wonderful gifts, breathing gifts, that even in the midst of frustration and anger, we would realize that you have blessed that person just as you have blessed us with life and it's for purpose. Help us to understand that you are love. And love flows from you. And when you say in your word that we as Christians are to be perfect as you are perfect, that perfection is love. Because you have also said in your word that everything hangs on your law and it's a law of love. To love you, to love the Godhead, let me be more specific, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and then to love our neighbors. And our neighbor is anyone that is not us. Anyone that is not us. So you're calling us to love the Godhead and to love everyone else. So even the person that speaks badly about us, even the person that annoys us, even the person that chooses to be our enemy, you're asking us to love that person. Father, help us to understand fully who you are. Help us to realize that our righteousness without the mingling of your Holy Spirit, without surrendering, it's as filthy rags. It's nothing, it's garbage, it's trash, it's dung. Without you, we are nothing. And that's okay, because with you, we are everything and so much more. So thank you so much for your love and the possibility of being transformed from a sinner to becoming a child of heaven. To letting go of pride and fighting and unbelief and to be someone who is humble, loving, and have faith. You are an awesome God. Thank you so much for loving us. Please help us to see the need for self to be removed from each and every one of us, for our selfish actions and thoughts and words to be removed, 
I pray that you will give us the mind of Christ. A mind willing to surrender. A mind willing to serve. Most importantly, a mind that wants to spend time with you in your word. Please give us your Holy Spirit today. Help us to reflect Jesus Christ. Help us please that when we make contact with someone today, that they will be able to see Jesus, that we will be able to offer a word of encouragement to them, dear Lord. Please, Father, help us to fall in love, not fall like the world falls, but to understand love, to know that through prayer and Bible study, we will conquer and have victory over every single sin. Help us to see the dangers of sin. Help us to hate sin and to love your word and your truth. Help us to surrender and help us please to serve you and to serve others. As the world celebrates love, Valentine's Day, Lord, I pray that they will research where these things come from. And I pray that they will know that the only true love stems from you and from your word. I pray your will be done. Thank you for your love towards each and every one of us. Guide us and keep us. In Jesus' name I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen.